Hey guys, it's Mads or M4D5, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use ASIO with your um, streaming software. In this case, I'm going to be using OBS. So the software I'm going to be using in this video is called Voice Meter Banana. It's a free software. You can pick it up from Voice Meter, and they appreciate if you donate to them, but it's not required. So if you haven't already, it's a good idea to go to the hardware out here and select your audio card. This will basically connect Voice Meter Banana to your audio card. And if, you're, um, and if you have an input that you're using with your audio card, it might show up in one of these hardware inputs. If it doesn't show up in one of these hardware inputs, you probably want to go to Menu and to System Settings. And in here, you can configure which ASIO inputs go to these channels here. For example, you can see now um, the inputs are by default set to ASIO input 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. You can see that I'm using a mono right mic right now with only one um, input. So for me, the configuration I'd need here would be 1 plus 1. And you can do that by going to the um, system settings over here and right-clicking once, and that'll bring it down to 1. If you have other inputs, um, you'll of course left or right click based on which inputs on your sound card you want them to use here. Next, you want to make sure that you're actually getting sound. If you want to monitor your own voice, you can output the first channel here, or the channel that you've set your microphone to, to A1. This should output it physically to your sound card, and you should hear it if you're monitoring through your sound card. The output that you're going to be using for OBS will either be the B1 or the B2 output here. The cool thing about Voice Meter Banana is that it will show up as a recording device in the Windows sound panel. So you can see here that I have a Voice Meter AUX output and the Voice Meter output. The main output right here is equivalent to the B1 channel output here, and the Voice Meter AUX output is equivalent to the B2 channel here. You can see that as I'm talking, my uh, voice is coming through the output in here, and I'm sending it to B2, which is equivalent to the aux output here. Now you can take the aux output here and configure OBS to use it. So you can see that I've both set up the main voice meter output, that'd be B1, and the, um, the aux output, which would be B2. Now we're almost done. Um, to set it up all the way, just take your DAW, and under the sound preferences, make sure it's connected to voice meter virtual ASIO. This will ensure that it's coming through this input right here. So anything you plan here will be directed to the two outputs you choose here. If you choose A1, you'll be able to hear it out of the sound card. And if you choose B1, you'll output it through this channel right here. And again, that's equivalent to the voice meter output right here, which you can also configure OBS to use, like I have. Now another cool thing about Banana is that if, you, if you're not satisfied with just bringing the audio from this channel directly to your uh, stream input, then you can actually use another uh, DAW, for example, as a insert effect. And how you do that is you take your DAW and configure it as a voice meter insert virtual ASIO. And what that'll do is it'll take the output from your DAW, and if you go into the system settings again, if you enable any of these patch inserts for any of the channels, it'll direct the output from this channel, in this case it'd be my mic, into the program you're using, and then it would take the output from the program you're using and um, basically just route it directly to where you're sending it. So in this example, I'd be sending the audio from hardware input one directly to reason, and I would process my voice here, and then it shows me the voice meter here, and I could send it directly to the B2 output, which would, again, be the aux output. So that way you can, in my opinion, retain as much flexibility as possible in your streaming setup, and at the same time use ASIO to stream rather than using a desktop sound card. So one thing I have noticed is that this can use a little bit more CPU usage than just using your sound card's audio driver. 
So you've got to make sure that you either have a big enough buffer size to let that be a possibility and not get any buffer underflow. And especially if you're using another DAW to act as an insert effect that will really take a toll on your CPU. But as long as your CPU is strong enough to handle it, or you're okay with a little bit of latency and make a bigger buffer size, then everything should be fine. And you'll be able to retain as much flexibility in your streaming and use ACO for your sound card. So that's all on how to configure that. Thanks for watching and hope you can get your stream up and running.